Elon's Cliff Pass is a comfortable tired pass designated Route R303 and is the prequel to the much more dramatic Middleburg Pass when travelling from north to south between Citrusdal and the Koa Bockefeld. A substantial plateau lies between these two passes and the farm Elanskloof lies at the southern end of the pass, which is where the pass took its name from. Despite the easy gradients and gentle corners, it's a very old pass, dating back to the 18th century and was first a sheep trekking route, but has been modernized and realigned several times over the past 200 years. It should be noted that there are three passes with variants of this name in the Western Cape, the other two being near Reliesdorp and the Hamkatskloof respectively. As you leave the outskirts of Citrustal, the road begins ascending at a gradient of 1 in 20 as it curves through a long and easy 40 degree curve into the southeast. The pass contains 18 bends, corners and curves within its 7,1 km length, gaining 338 meters, which produces an average gradient of 1 in 21, but it never gets steeper than 1 in 11. There are three bends with major angles of up to 150 degrees, but all of these have wide turning arcs, rendering them quite safe, providing speed limits are complied with. The first of these is an 80 degree left-hander, which takes the road into a side ravine, where the next and biggest bend of the pass is located at the 2.4 km mark. This is a 150 degree right-hand bend, forming a U-shape. As soon as the road straightens out, the next bend appears almost immediately, which is a left-hander of 130 degrees, but with an easier turning arc. Another double S-curve follows, which has mild corners of under 15 degrees. It is here at the 3.7 km mark that the steepest part of the pass occurs, with gradients of 1 in 11, as the last of these bends straightens out at the 4.6 km mark, a lovely view opens up on the left of tranquil farms with serried ranks of citrus orchards. To the left are the farms Apalto and Lentulus. Look out for the peak on your right called Wolfkop, which has a summit of 726 meters. Early in the 18th century, cattle farmers had already moved into the region with their cattle. Due to the mountainous nature of the region, suitable passes and roads were essential right from the start. The passes that originally gave access to the region were the Elanskloof, Witzenberg and Skirverbach passes, as well as those of Mosterzhoek, Mitchells, Swarmut, Geido, Karuurpoort, de Ronsburg and Hottentotskloof passes. The Elanskloof Pass is thus one of the oldest passes used by the stock farmers. It was replaced by the Middleburg Pass only in the 1940s. Once to the last of the Espens, you are now faced with a long straight of 2 kilometers, where after the road bends gently to the left and aligns itself for the crossing of the Poinkis Refir. This bridge is a single width, so scan the road ahead for oncoming vehicles and give way as required. Beyond the bridge, the tar soon gives way to gravel, and after one kilometer, the western start of the Middleburg Pass is reached. The Ilanskloof Farm and Valley is to your right, and the pass was named after it. As the bridge is approached, two distinct mountains are visible ahead and in the distance. The smaller peak on the left is Topiseberg at 906 meters, and the bigger one is Milstienkop at 1224 meters. Mm -hmm.